awards to eminent people with whom we have found a communal, community of interest and a, a community of purpose and where our good tasks and good works promise uh, that we will be continuing on the path that has been put for the center and for uh, the people who participate in the Nizami family. Uh, our two winners this year uh, are uh, Dr. Tedros Adhanom Gebre Yusus, Director General of the WHO, and uh, with whom we are now uh, discussing how we can push further the things that we had already started uh, partly under your leadership in the international arena, Mr. President, partly uh, by the leadership of the WHO and partly by a commitment of many eminent people and uh, our engagement as NGIC with that, uh, which was also the vaccines for all, the people's vaccine and the uh, importance of bringing equity and justice to the distribution and availability of these vaccines. Uh, my second award will be uh, for uh, Madame Valoyaba, uh, Director General of the United Nations Office in Geneva. But let me first ask if Dr. Tedros would like to say a brief word. Uh, uh, if not, we can proceed. But Dr. Tedros, you have the floor. Thank first. you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. excellency. Your Excellency, uh, President Aliyev, and my dear friend Tatiana, Excellencies, dear colleagues and friends, I'm deeply honored to accept the 2021 Nizami Ganjavi International Award. My thanks to the Nizami Ganjavi International Center and the jury members for this prestigious acknowledgement. I would like to accept this award on behalf of the health workers and caregivers in countries around the world who have been on the front lines of the response to the COVID-19 pandemic. They are the real heroes. Their efforts should be honored and celebrated today and every day. Your Excellencies, the award is a testimony to the legacy of the great Azerbaijani poet Nizami Ganjavi. His work was guided by values such as tolerance and diversity and deeply rooted in love for humanity and nature. It is in this spirit of love for humanity and the profound belief in equality and human rights that I call on you to support the mission of WHO. It's only together that we can ensure to leave the world not only intact, but also healthier and safer for future generations. Right now, the future of the planet, of our home, is being negotiated in Glasgow at the COP26. Nizami Ganjavi said once, I quote, what we are and what we possess is but a loan, and that nor for long, end of quote. Humanity's help is tied to our planet's help. A sick planet cannot host healthy people. Only through collective effort and solidarity, we will be able to overcome this pandemic and be better prepared for the health emergencies of the future. Equally, we must not only act boldly in the face of the climate crisis, we must work together towards our common goal. Working together, we can build a healthier planet and a healthier lives for all. Thank you again for this great honor. Back to you, Chair. Thank you, Dr. Tedros. And now let me